Well, look at that. We are at the Belfry and we're at the Brabazon course today. We're playing it ahead of the British Masters. We've actually been invited up here for a match. We've been challenged. My brother and I, Paul, we've been challenged by Joe the Pro and the head pro here at the club, Dan. Now, Dan Warwick is the head pro here. He's invited us up for a game. And well, I mean, what an opportunity this is to play this golf course a few days before the event. Uh, the fact that it's sponsored by or helped out by Prostate Cancer UK as well, which is obviously our chosen charity. It's fantastic. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to sharing this one with you. Don't forget, if you are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. But because it's a Ryder Cup venue, we're playing a Ryder Cup format. We're going to go foursomes to start us off, four ball to, uh, for the middle section, and then singles to finish us off. Let's get going. Dan takes this one seriously. Well, I, I, I think you should have the honour. As you are the. Um, Dan, what do you want me to do? It? Hosting. What do I want you to hear? What do you what do you hit? What do you hit? Two twenty five. Three iron. Seven iron. Are we going to call all these through behind in a minute or not? No. Joe's pulled out his three iron, I think. And who else playing? You pulled out. New three iron. Under, under duress. Joe the pro with three iron off the oh, first. Driver. I also mentioned the Shanghai at. Point at poles there, which isn't a good thought, with is that, it? With that club, yeah. With this exact club, yeah. Not like that. Very silly. It's always taking that camera out. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Amazing arrest. Oh. Short of the trouble. That was a lovely, was a lovely <laughs> story you told her. Yeah, and demonstrated yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, I've, I've, put that, that flag, I've put that camera right there, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Look where the camera is. Look. <laughs> it's wide a bit as well. Like that it's could um, be. You've hit a drone before. You've never hit a camera, have you? Hey? You've hit drones before, not a camera. No, I'm going to try and go around that camera. Look. Turning on the bunkers. Hopefully, enough to sting on it. Oh, Perfect. stop. Yeah, just Perfect. short of the bunkers. Well judged. Thank you. Five. Boy, he's just discussing. Like, it's not too bad. I'll just take you up from the angle that they've got. The bunker short. It looks like one long. The overhanging tree as well, but that's about 70 or 80 that yards be short. A so. <laughs> Boy, he's just still on the green at the moment. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah, you, mate. Oh, yeah, well, I saw you when I come down and we were. Look at this. Together, it's, little, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovovely to watch. Yeah. Like You've got to be careful. careful. They keep filming all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what, five or six feet, please, Dan. Okay, down with sure. five on it. Oh, he's okay. It's not brilliant. Sat down a little bit. Could be worse. Could be better. A little bit left, is it going to bounce? Bouncing up there. No, just a little bit touch short, but front edge, just short. You got a pull? 143. 143. Into wind though, so I'm going to try and cut up a eight time. Yeah, sounds Ball's good. a little bit above my feet as well. Ball above his feet, you might lose it a little bit to the left. I think it's done. Slightly left. Might grab the green. Back left. Not too bad. Kicked in a little bit to the right. Just zoom out a little bit. There you go. Pretty good. So Paul's gone just past pin high. Sort of in the back left portion of the green. Um, Dan's probably got 40 foot at least. He's saying the left. So from our right as we look. So should come in sort of in this area break towards the hole. Pins are a little bit tucked today because obviously they are protecting the golf course for the British Masters, rightly so. Down now with a putt for birdie. Good 
Ball's now feeding down. It might be a little bit pacey. It's got a chance. Oh, oh touched the edge of the hole. Oh. Ran on, on four and a half foot. Pretty good putt though. Yeah. Paul's just going to mark that. So Joe's in the sort of mouth of the green. <laughs> and he's electing to putt it. A couple of protective fences up and Yeah, going to get relief from those today. Just trying to stop people walking from different yeah. areas that maybe have a little bit more moist than others. Joe Nervous Putter. He's working up now, just moving a bit. Just green is very quick, bit. yeah. All green is just release a lot. I mean, they're the pretty quick today. We're Paul now is going to putt first. This is par. Both play three. A bit of break on this, I'd suggest, is when we saw the ball run past the hole. Hopefully they got a good read off that. Well yeah, good four. Yeah, nice. Well done. Press on the there, isn't it? Four for the boys. Dan now, the the half. Our host. Well yeah, done. good, well solid. Very nice. Well good done, Bernie, boys. You would, um, you'd love it on these greens. I don't think I would. Nice and slick for you. <laughs> I'm enjoying watching. <laughs> day off for you, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I missed the putt all day. It's all about tee shot, really. Okay. That's handy. So, play. yeah. <laughs> Just get handy. it in play. Like that, that part of the fairway from that bunker to where the rough is, I'm guessing, is probably like 25 yards wide. Yeah. Um, but obviously not your driver, so if you can get it into that spot, you've only got maybe 120, 130 into the green. Obviously. What are the guys doing from that back tee there? I know it's three, yeah, what, I think, 380 back there. Yeah, I think similar clubs to what they are first, I think. Okay. Hybrid three wood, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, no position. one's getting driver down here. No one's slinging it it's around like, the corner. You can see how narrow it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, the bigger hitters will probably be hitting long iron, yeah. I reckon. Um, no one will be in driver. It's just too narrow, isn't it? So Dan now is hitting his iron. Four iron? Three iron? Four iron. Four iron. Nice Daniel. Yeah, very good. Well made. Perfect. A little bit more back. He's going to probably try and get down a little bit further up there. Well, he's hitting it into one of the narrower parts of the hole, but... Swinging it. Go! I think that might be good, actually. I think he might have got around that. don't know, he might have gone around go the corner, over. but... <laughs> Little pulley. <laughs> Dan, welcome to the channel. Thank and you. obviously a big thank you to you for well, inviting us up here for this big match. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about your career to date. So, um, so yeah, originally from Essex. Yep. So, uh, grew up in the southeast. Um, came from a bit of a golfing family. So, um, my dad was a good golfer. Played sort of low handicap amateur. Uh, my brother, who's 12 years older than me, uh, played in the states. Uh, very good golfer, Lloyd, my brother. What college? College? Level? No, he played sort of mini tours. So he oh, okay. played what? Buy.com tour, yeah, what yeah, it was yeah. then, and yeah. Golden Bear tour. Yeah. So uh, with that age gap, obviously I, I grew up following him around playing tournaments. He yeah. played county, he played England. I sort of grew up following that sort of pattern, really. Yeah. And um, and then when I was sort of 16, I went out to the States playing a lot then as well for sort of a couple of years. Uh, just through the winters. Whereabouts were you? Uh, Florida, South yeah. Florida. So okay. I used to go out there a lot and, and compete on sort the of like the mini. Tour, was it? Mini, min, uh, mini yeah, the tour? mini. Yeah, then so it was well, it was South Florida tour, yeah. Golden Bear tour. Yeah. Um, so that was the Palm Beach. Area, yeah, around that area. Yeah. yeah. So I used to go out there when I was like 16 and play in them pro events as an amateur. Oh, wow. So when I was Great off, experience. Was, yeah, so it was good. And then I turned pro when I was 18. Yeah. Uh, so quite early. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was off sort of like scratch, and you know, I was having 
lessons with what was what Dennis Pugh actually at the time. Yep. And he said to me, he "Where said, was he uh, at the Wisley then?" Or yeah, yeah. no, well, not then. He was at the Warren in Essex, okay. and uh, I was like, "Shall I carry on playing amateur or shall I turn pro?" And he was like, "Well." With the amateur stuff, unless you think you're going to play Walker Cup, there's no point in staying amateur, so I turned pro. Done my PGA and got qualified by the time I was 21. Yeah. So that opened up a few doors for me of other jobs, and uh, I ended up going out to Portugal yeah. and taking up um, sort of an academy role there. Where of, was that? Um, Sheraton Pinecliffs. Okay. So it's in between Villamore and Albufeira, and uh, I would... I was out in Portugal for six and a half years teaching full time, so um, which was great, really, really enjoyable. And then went from there uh, to Celtic Manor. Yep. As a senior pro, obviously. And that's where you met Joe. That's where I met Joe. Yeah. So um, I was there um, for three years as senior pro, um, and then I went and took up a head pro job up in Manchester, so at Shaw Hill. Yep. Uh, in Manchester. Uh, Chorley area. Yep. Um, so took over like the shop, the coaching side of things, and the fitting side of things, and and then Joe actually was working at Celtic Manor, and um, he offered me my job back there as a uh, head pro. So obviously to go back head pro at Celtic Manor wow, was uh, was a uh, was an opportunity. Season, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and then that's obviously led on to then coming as sort of head pro at the Belfry, really. Dan did a really good tee shot there, right into the sort of yes. the biggest area, I guess, which is sort of eliminated any danger. So what you got, mate? I've got 110. Not much wind, but what there is is hurting, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to hit a little gap wedge, I think. Pin, pin is right in the front. I think Dan was saying that most of them were going to be there today, which is understandable. You might see this land, because I guess it'll be a little bit long. No, it's good. Pin I always wins, Paul, doesn't it? That's what they say. Great shot. So Paul's actually done okay here. He's sort of gone around the corner. We we could see sort of in the here, this is where Dan had hit his tee shot, sort of just short of these trees, but he's actually bypassed all this stuff and left Dan. Paul has shouted no shot. No, I mean it's it's no tucked shot. on the front. 36 yards to the front. Yeah, that's probably where um, the pin is. That pin is on the front, literally on the front edge. Lies okay, not brilliant. It's a brand new, it's a brand new area, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Open her up, Benny? Yeah, I think so, mate. And then you... Go on, get up, that's a really good shot. Go, go, go. It's really yeah, good. It's Good shot from there. I mean, so delicate. It, it was a tough well, shot, problem, but the problem is they're in there close. The only you've got to make a bit of a decision to go for it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the only good thing is you didn't have to take the bungers on, so you could actually play it a little bit short to bounce, which was good. But um, it's a good shot. I mean, as it's a tournament coming up, they let the rough sort of grow up a little bit as the um, tournament organisers and the PJ would want. So Paul's probably got pins probably on three and a half foot. Probably got five foot before he gets no to chance. the green, and probably no chance. Yeah, I'll just get into that. Time you've said that is all. That was the highlight of it. Yeah. It's actually very good. Pretty good, Paul. That was good at that. Tough lion. So the boys are putting for birdie to go one up. Look at this, Ryder Cup in both of them looking at the line, this is nice isn't it? Nice to see isn't like it? A good Ryder Cup yeah. It's got to be... Just dribble it off the left edge, isn't it? Dribble it on that pitch mark, I think, isn't it? Very good, Dan, very oh, good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> my word. Didn't we have all this against you last time? I told like, you my dad. Birdie machine I told you my Dan was better than uh, your Dan. Oh, here we go. Oh, it started already. <laughs> Dan, you know we are done. Yeah, hey, he's doing it for practice. Yeah. He's keeping a score, he's keeping his score, Paul. <laughs> Just, you know, getting the, getting the pace, that, Paul, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I feel one down there. <laughs> Dog legs left. Yeah, okay. Second shot. So it's driver, is it? It's 
describe it. Right? Yeah. And then um, you played it before, have you? you played played it once, but I can't it? remember the hole. I don't remember that hole. You know. No. Yeah, water short. Over the game on the left. It's two six five. You all won out of one in Ryder Cups as well on yeah, this channel. 100% record. You had a good partner there, didn't you? Did you? Yeah. Carried last time, wasn't I'm it? I'm still the highest point scorer in the, in the history on the channel in Ryder Cup golf. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I was an automatic pick this time. You, you and Serge, yeah. Got benched. I got benched. I won, my, I won my singles, half my foursomes, and won my four ball, but I didn't get in the team. Tough school, this. I can't believe he's not picked you again. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we drive up. Par five here, don't forget. Probably reachable today with a decent tee shot. Ah. Little left, might see it. That, that there it is, I see it bouncing. Oh, it's over it, it's way over it. It's on the hump of it, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little bird's eye view up there. Yeah. Looks all right, actually. Kicked right as well. Just short line in to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. You're not taking that line on down? Not uh, no. intentionally, Bernie. Not in the wheelhouse? Not, it could be, it's the year of the hook, isn't it? Start down. Oh, oh. Why not? Very good. Why not? That'll do, mate. Why not? Beautiful. You're right, Bernie, it will be pulled to play next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom in towards where we're going. Look at that, guarded by water. Bunker left, a lovely little bunker left as well, and one short, and we've got a little fountain. All carry this one. Look, you can bail out to the right, I guess, in the tournament. If they're hitting their second shots, they're going to be probably hitting it if they're not going for the green or they're going to be looking to miss it right because left is completely dead. Go on then, pal. <coughs> Pull Let's do this. We, forward we've got to hand. pull our finger out, haven't we? Yeah. I think. Do you see the fountain on the right hand side of the screen? A good pull. Bit wide. Oh, oh, stop, oh, yes, yeah, on the, oh, just rolled off the back. the back. Joe's just carried the bunker here. Dan finds himself on the top of the bunker, which is not too bad. How far have you got and what are you hitting? One, we've got 193 to the stick. Yeah. But I've got, I've got six iron. Yeah, nice. Kenny's on the far left hand side. Oh, hold up. Nice right, missing left. Oh, I saw a splash of Joe's drop in the side. It's where the ball crossed, but unfortunately, it's coming sort of here. It's crossed at this point where we're stood now. If it lands on the bank and jump back in, he could drop it to the other side. But what have you got, Joe? 126. It's going to look a smooth wedge. Put in there for two penalty free. He's playing four now, so then you're up and down, really. Down and pull back of the green for two. Lovely strike. I'm going to zoom in, there's a massive. Um, I'm not going to see that. Quickly, Dan's got it. I'm just stood on the, the actual front of the green. Um, Dan's back right for two. Joe and Dan are there for four, so probably realistically on the green two putts wins the hole. It's very quick from down here where Dan is. Well, I'm stood on the front, they're on the back. So I'll pop it forward, get it running, get it going now. It's just going to drift off away from the hole. Watch it go, look at that. Very quick down there. Dan's coming down, he's going to have to aim quite a bit to our left, his right. This has really got to realistically go in. Cut straight across it. Good try, tough It's a little bit short. I scared you, mate. Yeah. We're going to make him work for it, or are we? Have, have us have a little putt, I just want to 
I want you to experience the speed of this green that I've just experienced. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe's just going to have a putt, more or less conceal the hole. This is for Bernie's six. Feet are in danger if you miss. Well, I've got to go so hard. This is so yeah. slopey. So much. You wait to see the break on this. Because the greens are so quick. Watch this go. It's almost like no. you're hitting up Stop. the slope. Up the hill. Yeah. Stop. I thought it was going to go. <laughs> it's good enough, lads. Oh, Paul's just going to have a birdie putt for the stats. Coming back up the hill. Yeah, good four. Well done, boys. Nothing like wasting them, is it? Well done, buddy. The match is back all square. We've got 350 yard par oh, four, the fourth hole. Pull with driver. Wind off the left, Bernsey? Should be, because it was off the right on the last hole, and we're going directly back in the, in the opposite direction. Cool. Yeah, decent. What is it to the water? About that. Oh, no, I just see it just bouncing there, left hand side. Right. Just missed the ferry fraction there. Damn freewood. Yeah, it's Stay good there. as well. Just hold on. Stay there. Yeah, I'll be fine, mate. Right. That'll be alright. Perfect. One left, one right. So Joe and Dan down the right hand side. Just gone into the sort of first cut of rough. A couple of paces off the fairway. Got an overhanging tree here. But it should be, it's far enough back that it shouldn't really affect the shot as such. I presume we're about 100 yards away looking at the, the white dash here, which I presume is a yardage for the actual tournament. What have you got, Joe? I've got 132 yards. 132 yards? Pins in the right fringe. Um, we've got to go for it, don't we? Yeah. They're, they're in a good angle. Yeah. It's a short mat, so just a wedge straight at it, I think. Canadian there. <laughs> a little bit of fresh Canadian. <laughs> and not the whisk <laughs> and not the whiskey or the spirit version of it, no? Not the um, not the Canadian club. The no. <laughs> a little bit more solid than that, but you not want a lot. It? Not a lot more solid than that. <laughs> Generally when I drink that sort of stuff it comes out like that <laughs> in the next morning. <laughs> oh, Apologies dear. at right, home. I've got uh, Paul, I've got a little um a little wedge. Kind of, you know when you really want your 50 degree wedge right now? Well, you haven't got it. You haven't got it. No. Okay, I'm going to grip right down on a wedge here. That's not a bad angle in. Although, it's gone right at the pin. I'm sure, oh, that's dead. Problem is, around here at the moment, where the pins are, if you short side it, like that. Yeah. That's been a perfect example. I you like leave. Put, I like to give Paul some, you know, opportunities to excel. <laughs> Paul doesn't like those opportunities. <laughs> a little fiery there, Joe the pro. Yeah, it's, Dan tells me I had the wrong club. I'm still. I suppose this rough, though, if you think about it, this rough is being quite juicy. You can get the odd flyer. Yeah, it's flyer potential. I've pulled it a bit, which gives it a bit more, doesn't it? A bit more yeah, juice, yeah. I've left him in left me a lovely one. A bit of character building stuff, gentlemen. He's good though, Love my it. Dan. He's very good though, my Dan. Is he? Your Dan's good, is he? I mean, not at this, but... Not this area. 
<laughs> right, Dan, down the hill. Gonna land it on the green or no, just short? Because it's massively right, running. Semi, I think. Yeah. Just in the semi, kill it and then let it release down. Go on then. Well, Doesn't on. need much well, more than that, well. does it? It's doing well. That is delightful. That's really well played. If the right, if this was the Ryder Cup, you'd have had a huge round of applause for that. <laughs> Beautiful. Paul, then. That's so quick. The good thing is you've got a lot of green to work with on this shot, so. <laughs> so your Paul's got to have to land it. I would say just in the semi rough, just there, just just to the right of the flag, and then it should just kill it and kick it to the left. You're on an upslope, aren't you? What are you moaning at? Uh, well, it's perfect, isn't it? Got a launch pad. That's beautiful, mate. Oh, wow. Oh, sit. Oh, wow. Look how much that's run on. It's looks pretty good. We'll give them the line then, Paul. <laughs> pretty good. What do you think, Paul? I, I got like... Do you want me to move the marker? Um, he says all these percentages, he doesn't got a clue what he's talking about. No. Yeah. <laughs> what does 2% give you then, Dan? 2% gives me... Um, My wages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please ignore that. Yeah. To that. Let's try that then. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, yeah. The best part about your chip is that I don't have to crouch down now. I can just watch this. Yeah, yeah. you just watch and learn, alright? That's what I wanted to do, give you the line, Joe. So both probably five down, foot. Um, Doesn't matter. <laughs> Speed. If anything, it's fractionally down from this angle, okay. but not by much. Got a good view there, Joe? Beautiful now, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I've just pushed it a bit. Right. Ready? That's so high, you've got that. A lot more swing than I thought, though. Oh, don't listen to him. <laughs> don't listen to him. Can't hear a thing. I'm just hearing blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Joe now the putt to go back one up. As a putting guru, I'm expecting this to go dead centre. He said it. I didn't say it. Just had a moment. The knees, the knees. <laughs> just had a moment. All flat then. One of the main partners sponsors a charity, Prostate Cancer UK, which will be associated with the British Masters, which is a charity close to my heart. Um, my dad was suffering with prostate cancer before he died. Yeah. Not of prostate cancer, but he did have it. Yeah. It's our, um, it's our chosen, isn't it? It's so nice that they've got it here. Yeah. And Danny Willett, obviously, is a big supporter of it as well. And being as he's a host. His views on vaccinations um, and, yeah. We were actually going to do a bit of work with them up here for it, weren't we? But, yeah. Um, it didn't turn out quite that way, but... No. Um, yeah. Good little touch. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a hole. Almost dead straight. Water to the left. Bunker there. Bunker, Bunker there. One on the left. 216, 232 to carry. Okay. One on the right, 248, 264 to carry. Got that in the locker, Daniel. What's up, what's up about 320, Dan? Just for in case I ever play off these tees. 320 is apps perfect, buddy. Brilliant. Perfect. Now so we're driving, match all square, two to go. Are we on? Playing for a point. Yeah. Down with driver. Is there a little room down the left there, Dan, or not at all? Yeah, it's a lot wider than what it looks. Yeah, down. The, I just remember it being. You don't need to worry about that. You're dead straight. I'm just gonna hit a little slider, but it's asking for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. A bit left. Coming back. Think. Impossible bunker, I think. Mm. Might just be on the top of the grass bank. Top, top you can see it yeah. gone round the corner. Mm. I've got a bag here, isn't it? I'm all for saving the team. I don't know if I've got enough room <laughs> to stand it. <laughs> it wasn't designed for the big fella, was it? No. Was no.
Same line as mine, but a lot longer. Yeah, it should be good, though. Good say, isn't it? Right. The only issue we've got here is that pin. Obviously, we know it's on the front. There's a bunker guarding. Paul's coming out of the rough, so that's going to take a little bit of spin off with the strike. And he hasn't got a lot of green to work with. I think I've got a good club. Have you? Yeah. So what have you got and what you're hitting? 58. Yeah. This is 195 yards. <laughs> What's that? Nine. Uh, no, sorry, 95 yards. <laughs> 195. <laughs> Yeah. You make it sound better. So what's your carry with what's your carry normally with that club? Ninety five yards. Oh that's what spot on then. This should go in. A little bit of a down slope as well and yeah. a side slope. That's not necessarily out of the rough though that carry. No. Oh, oh it's, it's leaked right. a bit right. It's not safe. Yeah. Better, it's the better of the miss of the two. Short is yeah. um, short's game over. And a little bit further down the fairway, well, down the hole, not the fairway. Find Joe's drive, which is going to be hit by Dan. Pretty good, mate. Go. I think. Go. Yeah, it's a great shot from there. Shot. Great shot. Perfect. Very little good. uphill putt for their birdie. Found the little Mackenzie here. Back shelf on the left hand side as you play the hole. Pin is on the nice to see you, uh, right hand, hand side. Yeah, you oh, pointed out there. You could take right. the credit for that one. Hey, Off the right? Yeah, I need a fraction, but I don't see a lot in there. Yeah. Seeing a bit off the right are you? I think it's a bit off. Look at it from there. It's got to be, isn't it? It's definitely uh, yeah, sloping cross, isn't it? Yeah, well, you've got that line, I like that. Damn birdie putt. Outside gentleman. Gone at it. On, I think. Gone at it. Well oh, done. Play down. Looking away to the left. Right, left in probably yeah. five and a half foot. Five foot from the hole, it really shifts right to the left. <laughs> It's a beauty of force, and you don't have to worry about the next putt back. Yeah. Wandering down there. Dan just gave it a lovely eye roll then. Dan with a great <laughs> second shot in there to pin oh, high. Sorry, yeah, Paul did. He wasn't happy with that. Not enough Dan in this group, might come off that. It's coming off the right. <laughs> no, it's coming. Yeah. Blind. Oh, we're arguing. A little rift. rift. Oh, mate, I think, you're, I think <laughs> that's there. I don't. <laughs> No, I think, oh. I think you're wrong. <laughs> I, think, I think you're all wrong. Go on, aim point me. I think cup outside right. What, what is this, a four man team? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah completely well, agree. Well, then you go just on the right then, yeah? It's a cup outside right. You're in charge. Okay. Your putt. You haven't brought your putter, have you? <laughs> no, dear. So, Jay, this to go one up. So this for the half, one hole to play after this, so it's an important part. It was swung quite a bit, yeah. Just somewhere in between left post and left half. Yeah. I like that, yeah. depending on your pace. Yeah. This is a big putt. Just to clarify, Paul, this needs to drop, otherwise you'll door me in the match. It's a must make. Yeah. Is this, is this We're at must make already. Six, yeah. six coming up, yeah, just in case you weren't sure. We're at must make territory already. Pushy was it? Or Maybe, maybe but, but it well, just moved a lot. It did well. go a lot early, didn't it? Yeah. Got it. Put that ball down. Dan and Joe, one up, one to play. Oh six, three, six, four, par four. Yeah, okay. Mate. Quite a good little long. Let's take that there. Pins around there. The line position. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dry. Right inside the fairway. <laughs> Dry. One up and pressure. Pull's got a driver out. Mm. You alright? I'll move the shot trace of weird anyway. Do you mind? I think we're gonna try and leave down a shorter shot in there. It's not my golf ball, so I don't mind getting dry. No, out. good point. There you go with this then, boy. Straight at that bet Fred sign, you see it? Okay. Like it. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, got that. You did drop it quite a long way up. Uh, oops. Right, onto the four ball. <laughs> <laughs> A good example of course management there, mate, I yeah. think. Okay. Good example of course management. You've always been a sensible man, haven't you? <laughs> you, can, you can just see, I could tell that when I met you earlier. <laughs> Whereas Joe, met him a couple of times, not so much. Not so much. No. A bit loose. Correct. Correct. Um, I've got 165 down. Yeah. Do seven, it's just a solid there. seven behind it? Just the middle of the green, seven and that. Seven and up. Get the point in the bag early on, boys. You're making me nervous. <laughs> making myself nervous. Yeah, just a smash middle of the brain, mate. Ah. It's over the track. On miles. Got back left. Mm. You see, bad. Into slightly, isn't it? Nine. Huh? Good one. One three six. I tried to say that. From forty. Forty five. We've got to go in, haven't we? To hold it. No, it doesn't have to go in. It does. Yeah, we're one down. We're one in place. Still make four up and down. Just make it quite easy from there. Just get it anywhere on the green, really. Do you think this is enough problem? Just a little bit. Bottom groovy, Dan. <laughs> Thank you boys, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> One all. <laughs> Not your ball. Uh, Not yours. Oh, I didn't give it mine. Oh no, it's so lost two in the same yeah, hole. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Lovely. Well Good played. Luck. Good luck in the four balls. Thank you. Yeah, so well played. Paul, well done. Thank you. Very well good. Done. Very good. Dan. Oh look at the look at it. <laughs> oh what a way to finish part one gentlemen. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all again in two days time.